Good afternoon. Today is the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Thank you for joining us for this celebration, and we are delighted to welcome you as members of our family here at St. John Brebeuf. My name is Diana, and this will be the first time I'm cantering at St. John Brebeuf today. Please consider helping with our masses as we safely reopen to everyone. Volunteers are especially needed to help with morning funerals on weekdays and Saturdays and to help with Sunday morning English Masses. If you can help, please contact the person at the check-in table today. Did you know that we can now accommodate more than 100 people at our Masses? Let your friends and relatives know that they can join us. Tomorrow we are holding a drive-in Mass at 3 p.m. in our main parking lot. The lot will be open at 2.45 for entry. All will remain in their cars during Mass, and communion, communion will be brought to your car. We can accommodate up to 100 cars. Tell those who have not yet attended a Mass that they can safely do so at our drive-in Mass. Find our bulletin and a continuing schedule of our liturgies on our website at sjbrebuff.org. Check in often to stay current with our parish. Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. Remember us who seek you, O Lord. Our presider is Father Kurtz. We come together with our God, our help in ages past. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the and try of her, the Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Almighty, ever-living God, uh, whom uh, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of uh, adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit uh, to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crashing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord.
Lord God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwell in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us seek your himself will give his benefits and our land shall yield its increase justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites, theirs the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises, theirs the patriarchs, and from them according to the flesh is the Christ who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew.
after he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up another mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking under the sea. When the disciples saw him walking under the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if you is you, if it is you, command me to come to you under the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk under the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sing, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you, O little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pay attention for that a tiny whispering sound. Their brothers and sisters. How many times in uh, our lives have we sought some sort of sign from God of uh, what direction to take, what decision to make? It is as we, it is as uh, if we were waiting for our personal lightning bolt to strike giving us a clear and a precise answer. The truth is, there may not be a lightning bolt, but God will always give us an answer. God may visit us in a, a tiny whispering sound as he visited Elijah, we heard in the first reading today. If we get uh, distracted or are not paying attention, we can miss God passing by. When uh, an infant smiles at us, someone holds the door for us or offers a helping hand, there is an opportunity to sense the presence of God. The answer may arrive in the words of a psalm or in the unsuming example of a sacrificial love we witness in others, in another. We often identifying Thomas as uh, the doubting apostle. But uh, in uh, today's gospel, we send uh, that Peter also doubted. That the uh, image of Peter sinking uh, in uh, the water can be very real for us. We've uh, likely had uh, that same sinking uh, 
sensation when uh, adversity enters our own lives. Like Peter, we can cry out, Lord, save me. We know what it's like uh, to make that cry. We should also know what it means to respond to another's cry of uh, the same. There is a, a story told about a school principal who was cleaning out the storage area of the parish school. She came across an old crucifix that was about four feet tall. Unfortunately, the hands and feet had broken over the corpus. She was planning to have it buried in the Paris cemetery when she got an idea. Instead of disposing of the crucifix because of the damage, she asked the maintenance department to give it a good cleaning. She then had it hung in the main ent entrance area where all of the students, staff, and parents would see it. Underneath the cross, she installed a sign that read, you, will you be my hands and feet today? Will you be my hands and feet today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. This might be a good prayer for all of us to bring to the Lord before we leave today. Help me to be your hands and feet today. Give me the grace to help another to hear your quiet whisper. Allow me to be there for someone, keeping them from sinking into the waters of doubt or despair. And then let us pray attention for that tiny whispering sound. Once again, Will you be my hands and feet today, tomorrow, next week, next year? Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism 
for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation in Jesus Christ. Let us ask God, our Father, to open for all of the world this fountain of life and blessing. For, for the, the church. church. Sorry. For the church, that she will joyfully proclaim the living word of God to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. That during this pandemic, those who serve in public office and all those entrusted with the common good may rise above their egos and promote true justice and peace in this world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For engaged couples of our parish as they prepare for the sacrament of marriage, Natalie Alvarado and Cesar Mateo Magia, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the aged who suffer from loneliness and infirmity, that we will sustain them by our love and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Beirut, Lebanon, and for all who have died, may they come into the light of God's presence. We remember Albina Sorosiak. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in our hearts, and for those we remember at Mass today, Gunnar Johannan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Increase our confidence that you always provide for our needs and give us grace to serve you faithfully. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church. For in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know that it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our dwell down, downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy o Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dove, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that uh, with uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with uh, Saint John Brebeuf, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us, Saviors, come in, and from the by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory yours now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander If you pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand Blessed are the poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And if wicked tongues insult,
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament uh, that we have uh, consumed uh, save us, O Lord, uh, and confirm us in uh, the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Have a nice Sunday, have a nice weekend.